Our top focus on urban debate this evening, a controversial order by the Bengaluru Civic Body, that's the BBMP, which has imposed a ban on the sale of meat and animal slaughter on August 31st, which is Ganesh Chaturthi. It has put the spotlight back on an individual's right to eat versus food policing by states. Now, as per the order by the civic body, the ban is applicable all over Bengaluru City on August 31st. Uh, does the order, and if you read the order, does the order tell you anything about why there is a ban on meat? No, they simply say that the sale of meat is prohibited on the 31st, which is Ganesh Chaturthi. Now, not the first time that the Karnataka government has imposed, in this case, it's of course the civic body, but the government has imposed an order on a festival day in the past as well. Bangalore's civic body had banned the sale of meat on Janamashtami, then on Ram Navami, then on Basava Jayantri, Shivaratri, Gandhi Jayanti on and on. Uh, this, of course, has drawn the ire of the opposition. This time, too, the opposition has flayed the Bomai government, calling the meat ban order on Ganesh Chaturthi, quote-unquote, foolish and violative of the constitution. But do remember, it's not just Karnataka. In the past as well, and in several other states and cities, meat bans have been imposed, which is the consumption and sale of meat. If you remember Delhi, there was a massive controversy over meat being banned in several parts of the national capital during Ram Navami. Gujarat too was recently in the news after Rajkot banned meat during Savan, Janmashtmi and Prayushan. In UP2, you remember Yogi Adityanath had called for a ban on open sale of meat along the Kavad Yatra U. Is the meat ban violative of the Constitution?